Hello friends, family, and followers. It's Hike360 here, and I'm here to give you a new Hike360 view. Uh, <laughs> I'm at Glacial Park right now in Ringwood, Illinois, and that's in McHenry County. Uh, Dad and I are gonna go on a 5.2 mile hike today. Uh, I think this one or two loops, uh, but Glacial Park is significant because cool things called Cames, and we're gonna be hiking along uh, the two that are here. So Camelback Glacial Came is one of them, and we've got yeah Glacial Came, and uh, I think there's that might be the two, the Glacial Came, and then the Camelback Glacial Came. But these are the ridges that were formed uh, by the glacial movements that happened. So, yeah, here we are. We're at Weedrick Barn. Uh, that's the start, that's the trailhead. That's the start to our hike. Uh, it is February. There is snow on the ground. We have our snowshoes on. And uh, we're going to go kill this hike. better time than to do this hike in the winter. See everything, right. Definitely one of the advantages of winter hiking is you get to see everything. See everything, but it's uh, fitting for glacial movements. Oh. Didn't, I didn't make that connection. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we are changing loops. Uh, we're only a half mile in. You can see the barn straight out. We're on the other side of that first valley. Uh, we're still, we're, it's pretty neat though. We're along the ridge line. And uh, there's a little lookout pier for this, what I guess used to be a pond. We're heading over to Coyote Loop. Oh, are we? Oh, great. Oh, we're gonna go around the pond? Okay. And then we come back? No, and then we go further out. Okay. In a straight line, come back. I see another hill over there. And then we go that way. So okay. this is like one loop, and then this whole thing will be another loop. I see. So we're doing the inner and the outer. Yeah. Sweet. All right, well, that's enough tour guide. Um, I like this piece. So I started the camera again because I was kind of starting to feel it. Uh, first of all, I love the snowshoes still. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm thinking it's like, I can definitely feel connected to nature with the ridge lines, but also a connection to history. And that's kind of cool to get both of those in one experience or one trail or one section. Yeah. Natural history. Opposed that's to right. Human. Yes, yes. Natural history. That's a good point. Yeah. Hey guys, we are at the top of the Camelback Canes. It is one of two uh, prominent ridges at Glacial Park Conservatory or Conservation Area. It's spectacular. I mean, seriously, you climb to the top of these mounds and you can see really far They've got these waterways, these river systems happening over on this side. Uh, there's bridges down there. I mean, this is where you go to hike. Uh, this is so cool. This is such a, a nice vantage point that we're at right now. And I uh, really was not expecting it to be as beautiful as it is. Uh, but this, this is great. Waterfalls would bring uh, sand and gravel uh, off of those glaciers, off the tops of those glaciers, and formed these these mounds, which have been here for the last 13,000 years, is what it said. Uh, just totally mind-blowing, totally cool. 
Yeah, the biggest thing I learned in this, and this, so we learned what a cane is. A cane, K-A-M-E. Uh, which is the top, the flow from the top of a glacier. So it's. I thought the cane was the ridge. This right. is the Camelback cane. Right. And so I got what I'm taking out of it is that what what you call a cane opposed to a ridge or moraine or mm. any other type of debris from glacial erosion. Uh -huh. This is the what's dumped off the top of. Okay. We'll look it up, but I'm guessing this is what's dumped off the top of opposed to being carved out from underneath. Carving or, or the just moving being left of boulders. Behind. Right. Yeah, okay. And so you gotta imagine, uh, this is the bottom of a waterfall. All right, so how, how big is this glacier? And the other thing that I really is so amazing to me is most of my understanding of the glaciers is north to south. This is a glacier that came in from the east, from Lake Michigan, and expanded west, <laughs> stopped here. This is the westernmost point of that last glacier, glacier, 14, 13, 12, 11. You know, we throw around millennia like it's no big deal, but the Ice Age ended kind of 10,000 years ago, so there's a couple thousand years of melting. This is as far as it got before we started melting. And then the bog in the pond that we walked over and through and across, what we learned was those were left behind basically icebergs in the middle of the land. And they sat there for however long, hundreds of thousand or, or a thousand years yeah. until they melted, creating not only the pit from the weight, but leaving the water behind. Oh man, that is so cool. <laughs> a lot of stuff going on here. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, definitely the highest point going west and you know I guess like Wilmot where we're you know we ski I guess Wilmot is probably uh, an addition to whatever mound was left there right right but that never crossed my mind that that could be lunchtime you already know what's going on oh hard the crust, crust is very hard hard crust today <laughs> all right so what do we got for our lunch break I'll tell you Um, today we are eating dad's homemade bread with orange marmalade as our jelly. And are we eating sunflower butter? Mm -hmm. Oh, well then, yeah, we're eating sunflower butter uh, with that too. And I'd say the pairing is very good. Good. It's uh, mm. very bright tasting. Yeah. So... I went through a phase, I'm looking up all these different kinds of nut butters and you know, there's peanut butter, I've tried like cashew butter, which is okay. Sunflower butter was the best one. It's super sensational. I've talked about it before. It's my all time favorite. I put it on every, you know, PB and J or S, what is it? Sunflower, SF and J. You got the SF and J sandwiches. OM for orange marmalade. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you can see our last video, we were on the top of those mounds over there. Right now on the other side, this is the road bridge. Uh, there's a trail bridge that we're gonna eventually cross downstream. Otherwise, it's just a nice place to have a lunch. Absolutely. I turned on because this is a nice bend in the stream. The uh, current I had going the wrong way. When we were eating lunch, I thought it was a southern current. It seems to be a northern current. But uh, this is a pretty nice hike. And from a fall or a spring standpoint, being able to sit here, there's a good breeze. There's benches kind of everywhere at these nice points. This would be a great hike in the spring or summer. So what the camera doesn't pick up is the horse cow smell. But I turned on right now because I feel like we're out west. I don't feel like we're, so often I don't feel like we're in Chicago. <laughs> but, uh, what, about, just, what about this? I love this stream. The the, just the way this water, the stream is, the action of this stream feels very west. Made it back.
back up here for one last look. center over there hey guys we're finishing up the glacial park hike right now it's going to be about five 5.3 miles in all uh, really cool spending time on the glacial ridge the camelback uh, kind of exhausting going up and down it we're outside the barn again uh what did we see the river or the stream uh, that runs alongside uh, the the whole canyon here. I'm struggling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean it was just a kind of a prairie walk. I mean it was a big field. We had a nice stream going through it. I don't know the name of the stream. Finishing up the hike. I did a lot of learning today. I mean honestly, I feel like uh, I just learned a lot about um, the natural history that happened here about how glaciers move uh, and what kind of uh, land uh, structures they create or destroy, uh, what happens to the land that they're moving through and, and what gets left behind. So uh, I'm really grateful for this hike. It was a lot of fun, uh, a lot of learning happened and um, I'm ready to go to go home. And, and so we will catch you next week with another hike.